Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I'm here to share with you guys a project. As a design team member for Wild Orchid Crafts, first let me share with you the items that I use in this project. And also at the very end of the video, I will show you a quick tutorial on how I made what I made. Super easy, super quick guys. You know that's what I'm all about. So here we go. I used some white open roses. And these are the 20 millimeter. I used the 25 um, Dove Cottage Roses, Dove Gray. I used the 100 Mixed Color Open Roses. I also used the White Leaves. I used the 100 Mixed Color Summer Blooms. I used the Mixed Pastel Color Cherry Blossoms. Super cute. I used the um, Pastel Tone Rosebuds in the 4mm. I used the Mixed Vintage Color Open Roses. This is what these look like. I also use the large wild roses in two tone pink. I use the ivory pearl spray. And then I use the white lace. And finally, I use some washi tape in this one pretty vintage color and this pretty lilac color and this pretty um pink hot pink cherry summer color okay so i'm going to clear this away and then i'll be back with the project Okay, for my project, I use these wood clothespins. You can get these at the dollar store. They come in a pack of 36. Super cheap. It's a dollar and seven cents with tax. And you can alter these and package them up. Really, really cute. And send them off to your friends. It'll be a great thinking of you gift. And it's super easy to do. So if you've never altered a clothespin, stay tuned to the end. I'll do one with you um, as an example. Okay, so I made three. It's going to be a set of four which is including the one that I make today. So my super, this is super cute. I love this. this is a purple lilac color and it is super adorable. And look at the cute um, adhesive washi tape. It's a fabric tape and you could paint the clothespins, but because this was fabric and it was a vintagey color, I wanted to keep the wood brown. And I have done clothespins where I painted them with gesso. That's easy as well too, but um, feel free to do that. But I just kept these with the wood grain. And I love this um, washi tape. It's adhesive and it's fabric and I love it. And I covered the whole clothespin in it. And then I used the tiny rosebuds and the cherry blossoms and the open roses so cute here I use um, some of the lace from the store down there and then there's another cute little rosebud and then I glimmered it all up with some shimmer stuff using a paint stick so super cute oh my gosh so cute would love to get these as a in the mail as a thinking of you gift so that's one and then I made this one using this type this color um washi tape let me show you the back so you can see it close up or in its in its nakedness <laughs> so cute has like um strawberries on it really cute summer colors and so what i did for this one this one's a full one so i added the huge um wild rose here in the hot pink i did end up gessoing everything and then this one i put glitter on and there's my open roses here there's those teeny tiny little um rose buds it's really tiny ones really cute i used the spray that's where i used the spray i stuck them cut off uh one stem and stuck the pearls in there so they'll they'll you know add to the collage and then I used the lace down here again and the leaves. 
tiny little rosebud there again and then here is the summer um, blooms so stinking cute I really like how that turned out and it's nice and full uh oh get out of this camera here and yeah I just added gesso on that sporadically and then I sprayed it with some glitter super cute and super easy if you haven't done it get to your dollar store get some clothes pins super super quick and fun it's addicting is what it is <laughs> and then this particular one I really like too it's the vintage color you guys can see that close up really really cute cute I love this fabric tape <laughs> really cute it's stretched really nicely on the clothespin too and then here I just added some leaves and then here's that dove gray color rose I love this shape of this flower and it's so shimmery I used this is glimmer mist you guys will see that in a second <laughs> glimmer mist on my fingers so they're not dirty but um, here are the open roses in the vintage colors here's some more of that lace flower from while I mean lace from Wild Oaker crafts and some more of the pearl sprays that I glued in there and it's so shimmery and so cute will make a great little gift cute 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 so what I do is take just a little piece of um, chipboard and I put some paper, just your scrap paper on here. And then I add my clothes pins to that because we're going to package them up or you can package them up later. But we have one more space and that's what we're going to create today. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to use obviously is um, one of the clothes pins. And I have a couple of things I've pulled out so this tutorial can be quick for you guys. Um, the flowers I'm using is on this one are the mixed color Cosmo daisies. Super cute. Look at those. Very fun colors. Fun, fun, fun colors. And I'm going to use this pink one. Two of those. I'm also going to use a Tuscany rose. In, this is an ivory. Okay. And I have some hip rose buds that I'm going to use off-white hip rosebuds. These are small as well. Very cute. And I think we'll see if we'll use um, not sure but I may put in um, one of these mixed color roses and the tiny ones. We'll see. So um, I also have a little cup of um, some shimmers in here so that I can use and my paintbrush. Now I've already sprayed and uh, sprayed my rosebuds and I used the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Olive Vine and I just stuck my paintbrush in there inside the bottle and then I painted it and then I added some of my shimmer in here to give it a shine. That's what I want this particular one to have a lot of shine and that's why my fingers have that stain on it so so I'm going to take oh the most important part the washi tape and this is the one I'm using and it's this color so pretty and shabby so I'm just going to take some a piece here and measure it it's about right there fold it in half so we can get the other side and cut it And this is sticky back, so you just want to peel that piece off. So what I'm going to do is start it off with my corner. Hope you guys can see. This is a hard angle. All right. So what I like to do is, okay, I don't like this clothespin. It's funky. Let's get this one. <laughs> so what I like to do is take my tape and get it on the edge. That way I only have to cut off one half of the side you know one half so am I, am I in frame here okay so I'm gonna take the top half and line it up peel off the rest and just line it up with the bottom here with the side of the clothespin that way I only have to cut off that this side over there see make sure that gets a nice little brush and then I'm just going to cut off the sides. I don't know where my other scissors went but we'll use these for now. 
and cut off the bottom extra and then excess so that's done in seconds <laughs> and then we're going to start with the other the back side and peel off the washi tape I want to cover both sides and then to the edge that's the best way for me instead of putting it in the middle and then cutting both sides I just rather line it up give it a good brush I'm gonna flip it over cut off the excess see how easy it cuts and the top So there we go. Both ends sticky. <laughs> Both ends are done. Get this off because that's annoying me. Uh, all right. So you just pick whatever side you want. Neither one of them look any different, but I like to use the flat side. I guess they both have a little divot in it, but I'm going to use this side. And I'm going to grab my Tuscany Rose and I'm going to take the leaf backing off because no actually I'll leave it on it has uh, a green print in here obviously that's why I painted the rosebuds green so I like to layer first just to make sure what I want is where I want it and then I have this tiny little piece of scrap lace from my stash so that's gonna go right on top of here and I'll cut off the extra I just like that lace to hang just a little bit it adds some stuff to it that I like and that rose is going to go there and I'm going to put these okay I think I know where I'm going to put everything we'll see we'll see when we get there okay I'm just going to add the lace and by doing that I'm just going to add a tiny little strip right down the middle of glue hot glue put the lace on And then I'm going to cut off the extra here on both sides, just not the tip, see, just to both sides. And I'm just going to add a little glip, oh, I'm going to take the stem off and add a little bit of glue to the back of the flower. that right in the middle okay super cute and my daisies I think are gonna fit right in there let me see Oops. cut this down see where I want my hip rosebuds I always leave a tiny little stem on there so I can have something to stick it, you know, stick it under. So maybe we'll put these down here. Uh oh. Okay. I'm just moving it around, guys, so I can see. And let me take some of this stem off. I can get a better judge of size here. Okay. Just trying to see if I like it better on the top or the bottom. Holy little boogers are escaping me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to grab some of this spray, the pearl spray, and I'm going to add two of these stems. See, I just cut off the stem there, and I'm going to add them too, but let's get the cherry blossoms, I mean, let's get the, uh, these in here. Right down here. Cute, cute, cute. These daisies are so pretty. Put a little glue in there. I'm going to put this on that side. 
Okay, I'm going to bring in a, another tiny white hip rosebud and the um, mixed color roses in pink. That's what I'm going to do. And add to this clothespin here. Okay. So I'm going to put some hot glue on this rosebud. There. That's a little hot. And that's going to stick in here. Just maneuver that in there. And then get another one here. Or the other one, rather. Put some glue on that. <clears throat> stick that to on the other side. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. And then this pink one, I'm going to add that right there. Just going to add some glue to this white hip rosebud. Stick that in there. And I'm going to add these sprays. Or these, yeah, uh, two pieces of these spray right there. But I'm going to bring it up close and then put... A dot of glue, just a tiny dot, right behind the spray to hold it in there. And then one on the other side. There, let's get rid of some of the glue strings. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. So now I'm going to get my little shimmers in my cup, my little concoction, and then just generously apply some shimmers to the flowers so they can sparkle. Now it looks a lot um, thicker than what it'll end up being. Uh, end up being, or a lot heavier shine than it'll end up being. Because it'll dry clearer and then it'll just leave the shimmer behind. And then I'll just get this big one. And what I like to do is when I'm done, I'll, my favorite part is um, getting some packaging. You know, getting ready when I'm getting ready to package it. I love that part. It's my favorite. So there we have it. That's that clothespin. So stinking cute. And it was super quick. So, there's this spot for that one. So, whoever gets this will have a nice little glorious bouquet of altered clothespins. And here's the back. With all that cute, cute, cute fabric tape. And there's that one. There's the one we just did. And all the rest. Gotta love it gotta love it all right thanks guys so much for watching and let me know what you think leave a comment be sure to visit wild orchid crafts all of the information for all of the flowers and products that i use will be in the description box as well as a link to the online store and the facebook page like if you like it let me know what you think thank you bye